Shalom. One of the more interesting topics I see online deals with the new moon. So our first question is, which phase of the moon is the new moon? Is it the dark moon? The first visible crescent? The first quarter moon? Or the full moon? For argument's sake, I've narrowed down our choices to these four options. They are commonly the most debated phases. Now, excuse me, if you're like me, visual aids really help to put things into perspective. If I can visualize it, I can pretty much grasp the concept. So that's exactly what we're going to do with this particular video. Now, when we think about the very first time the moon appeared in the sky, what did it look like? Next, we want to ask ourselves, which phase of the moon rules the night? Because there's actually only one phase that rules the night. Did you know that? Only one phase fits the description. And luckily, the clue is in the very first chapter. All right, so let's turn to Genesis chapter 1, verse 14 through 19. And Yah said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And Yah made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. <coughs> Excuse me. And Yah set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light to the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And Yah saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Now, many people don't pay close enough attention to verse 16. However, we notice something very important being stated. We see the Most High creating two great lights. The first of the great lights is the sun, and the second great light is the moon. Now, we know the moon does not provide direct light um, from itself however it does reflect light from its surface which gives the appearance that it's generating light so now let's find out which phase of the moon rules the night that's the million dollar question we have to ask ourselves can it be proven can I physically observe for myself to verify and the answer, yes, you can. The full moon occurs when the earth sits between the moon and the sun. The full moon rises after sunset and just before sunrise as the new day it sets. So again, the full moon rises after the sun is set and then it goes away or disappears just before sunrise for the new day. All right. The full moon is the only phase of the moon in the moon cycle that shines throughout the duration of the night. <coughs> Excuse me. No other phase can make that claim. Let me repeat that. No other phase can make that claim. Each of the other phases appear during twilight, with the exception of the dark moon. So now we're left with two options, the full moon and the dark moon. So question, does the dark moon rule the night? Can you see the light being reflected from the dark moon? I didn't think so. In order to rule the night as a great light, you would have to provide light by default. The dark moon, 
The dark moon does not meet the qualification. How can it be one of the two great lights mentioned in Genesis chapter 1 as ruling the, as ruling the night when it's not even visible? Doesn't make sense. Once again, try to put yourself in the driver's seat. On day four of creation, how did the moon first appear in the sky? If you say crescent moon on, on day four of creation, the very first time the moon appeared in the sky, it appeared as a crescent moon? Does that make sense? Can the, does the crescent moon rule the night? Does the dark moon rule the night? Does the first quarter moon rule the night? No, unfortunately they don't. The only moon that fits that description as stated in Genesis chapter 1 verse 14 through 19 is the full moon. Now, this is, again, this is something you can actually go outside and observe. So where are the different interpretations coming from? Is it from a poor um, exegete of the text? Could be. Are there presuppositions? I would, I would say so. The next question I would, I would like to ask, and this will be my final question before I wrap up. When looking at the text, does it specifically say first visible crescent in Hebrew? No, it does not. Does it specifically say full moon in Hebrew? No, it does not. Does it, <coughs> excuse me, does it say first quarter moon in Hebrew? No, it does not. So looking at the context clues, we can eliminate some of the options because they don't fit the qualifications. Okay? The word you want to look for in Hebrew, which is a crescent, is called Saharon. Saharon. Okay? If the... if if we are going to say that the new moon is the first visible crescent, the term that is being used is Saharon for the new moon. Now you can go back and check through the text and let me know if you see anywhere in the text where it says Saharon as the new moon. Now I could be pronouncing it wrong. I'll put it up on the screen for you to see, but I want you to go back look it up and if you see it feel free send me an email i'm not above saying i was incorrect but to my knowledge as of now i have not seen it so for anyone to say that the first visible crescent fits the new moon i would simply ask you to show in the text where it uses the hebrew word for crescent as new moon well, until next time, I want to thank you for watching, and um, I will see you on the next go-round. Shalom.